Hi, my name is Luke, and this channel is Polymathy. And today, I'd like to talk about the best textbook I have ever found for learning another language. And here it is, Lingua Latina per se illustrata, written by Hans Urberg. And this is one of the best textbooks I've ever seen for several reasons. It's to teach Latin and it is written only in Latin. There are no words in here that aren't Latin, and it's filled with pictures, beautiful, colorful pictures. And this, we start off with knowing no Latin at all with the simplest possible sentences. For example, on the first, very first page, we find, Roma in Italia est, Italian Europa est, Greigian Europa est. And from the very first words, we know what's going on. We also have a map of Europe that accompanies those very first sentences. And from there, we go all the way through 35 incredible chapters, which aren't just about geography, but follow the story of an ancient Roman family from the second century AD. And the, the slaves, the slaves, some slaves try to get away. It's really interesting. It's in some ways quite riveting because you want to continue to read the book, to learn the language, to find out what happens. So this is really a, uh, a golden book, not just literally in its, its color, but really in the fact that it is tremendous. I have my old version here that I had way back from 2005, which is, uh, when I first had it, this was uh, back when it was black and white. There's the very same chapter in black and white. Still fantastic back then. Uh, the color version, though, that was released a few years ago is just amazing. And through marginal notes, pictures, and context alone, you learn the entire Latin language. Those of you out there who've already used these books know how wonderful they are. This is how I learned Latin and how I continue to study and teach Latin to this day. So I can't recommend them more highly. And I'll talk a bit more about some of the other books that accompany them. These are the Colloquia Personarum. This is my old copy from 2005. I believe the new version of this book and some others I'll show you looks different today. But the Colloquia Personarum is actually supplemental story, which goes along with the main story in this wonderful novella of the main book, which is called Familia Romana, and talks about the various things that happen between the characters so we see the pictures, there's the uh, son and the daughter uh, discussing how to count, for example, and many other things. So fantastic as well. My uh, audio recordings of these uh, two books I've already put onto my Latin language channel, Scorpio Martianus. So I'll put the link for that in the description. I recommend you uh, check those out. I put my audio recordings of this book and also the Colloquia Personarum, onto my Latin language channel, Scorpio Martianus. But those actually aren't useful at all unless you have the whole book, because I just recorded the story part. Real, the real meat, though, is definitely in the grammar section, which explains everything that one is supposed to learn, and way more important than that, the pensa, which are the exercises that accompany every chapter. Without that, a student, whether a self-guided student, like I was, or a student in a classroom setting won't actually be able to get any real use out of this book. So although those recordings are there, definitely purchase this book. The Colloquia Personarum have one short dialogue which accompanies each of the first 24 chapters of this book, but this actually has 35 chapters. So what's really great about this, even though this book is sufficient in many ways to learn Latin on its own, it's great to have more. Those of us who are familiar with the comprehensible input concept of learning a language understand that input, and for especially for something Latin, where we can't hear a whole lot of it or go to a place where it's spoken, reading an enormous amount, reading a lot, is a great way to truly become a master, or at least a good student, of the language. So these go, so after that, a fantastic author and uh, the one who one who uh, currently distributes these books, uh, Luigi Meraglia, who has written just wonderful stories that are also meant to go along with this book here. 
So the colloquia stop around chapter 24. So then there's another 10 or so chapters which don't have any accompaniment. So th that's why Luigi Miraglia, a few years, wrote these. Luigi Miraglia runs the famous Vivarium Novum school, where it just teaches Latin and Greek only in Latin and Greek. There are some places in the world like that, and certainly Luigi Miraglia is an outstanding, incredibly fluent speaker of Latin and a very admirable author. He has written more than 40 stories about that are almost entirely Greek myths and some Roman stories as well that use the exact grammar and vocabulary starting from chapter 26 and going through chapter 34 through the end of the Familia Romana book, the orange one here that I keep holding up. So we get even more reading. And not only that, we get to learn more about the ancient Roman and by extension Greek mythology. Another outstanding book that accompanies all of these is the Exerquitia Latina. I think this might be the most valuable part of the whole series. As I've been teaching Latin for some years, I find that these Exerquitia, which are exercises, are incredibly well made. And they're very, very important because we're reading in the Familia Romana book only in Latin. So we don't have that much necessarily to help us. And maybe there's some concepts which we can read and understand, but maybe not fully express. For example, if we want to become good writers of Latin, then we have to understand all of the rules of formation quite well. Not just be able to read passively, but to do something more active with the language or to speak it like I do. So the Exerquitia are really, really good because for every chapter, there is a whole lectio, every one of the chapters of the story. For example, take, we'll take this uh, chapter, let me just open a random chapter. Here's one about Daedalus and Icarus. So one reads through and then by line 32, there's a Roman numeral two, meaning this is where the second, there it is, this is where the Roman numeral two is, this is where the second lectio or lesson begins. So one, you can do this yourself or with, if you're a teacher with students, you go all the way up to that line, pause, don't read further, then go to the exarchitia that correspond to that section that you just read and do the exercises which train the student in exactly the grammar and vocabulary that they just learned. So that's a much better uh, way, I think, than the book uh, has alone. Book, again, extremely good because it has the unbelievably valuable pensa, the exercises at the end of every chapter. But those can be a little challenging because that requires the student, whether a self-taught student or in a classroom, to recall everything from the previous chapter and requires some rereading. So the exarchitia, I'd compare them to homework or maybe quizzes that help to focus on a specific area. And the pensa, which are at the end of every chapter, are more like a chapter test. Of course, you as the teacher or the student can use them however you want, but that's how I recommend. I recommend if I had had the Exarchitia Latina, if I knew they existed, when I was first using Lingua Latina per se illustrata, or the Familia Romana, the first book here, when I first had it in 2005, then I would have done all the Exarchitia. I've since done all of them with all of my students, and I learned a lot by doing them, and so have my students. After one has finished the Pars Prima, Pars Prima, part one, Familia Romana, Familia Romana, Pars Prima, then the next book that is available is Roma Aeterna, and this is my um, old copy from 2005. The cover looks quite quite different now. It is not only longer, and the, the, the it's also the font is smaller, which is interesting, but is the exact same style. Now, this book, except for the very first chapter, which gives you a tour of ancient Rome in Latin, which I think is amazing. I actually took, in 2005, I had just read this first chapter, which does a tour of all of the monuments of ancient Rome, then went to the Roman Forum in Rome and understood everything. And I had learned entirely about it through through the Latin, written by the author Hans Urberg in the first uh, in the first chapter. The rest is an ingenious compendium a flori legium, an anthology of a sorts, taking us from through the whole history of Rome, from the beginning with Aeneas and the Aeneid after the events of the Trojan War, all the way to the legend mythology of Romulus until the legendary kings, and then to the Republic where history starts to become a little bit, bit more solid, and all the way up through the first century.
And how it does that is not by what Urbeck has composed with the lovely novella of the first part, but is instead taken from the original Roman authors, including Virgil, the Aeneid, but solutis versibus, which means without the poetry, without the verse structure of the Aeneid. Instead, it reads more like just a plain story, which is fantastic because it allows the student to learn all of the events and the vocabulary of the Aeneid without the somewhat strange and poetic word order that Virgil uses. And then it goes on to sample quite a lot of Livy, the historian, and take his events and chronicling of history as he told it. So it's fantastic reading the history from the original. But this book, because it is taking from these original authors and doing fairly little to change them, it's somewhat of a leap to go directly from Familia Romana, part one, to Roma Eterna, part two. So for that reason, our outstanding Urberg has created some wonderful supplements, including three of, here are three of my favorites. Once you've finished Pars Prima, you can go right to this comedy called The Amphitrio by Plautus. And it is, I think it's hilarious. It reminds me of an episode of Friends or something. And it's possible to read this only with the vocabulary and language that we learned from Pars Prima. And it also, just like the others, has all the marginal notes and pictures we could want to help us understand everything in context. Again, no English at all. Another fantastic one are the Sermones Romani, the Conversations of the Romans, Roman Conversations, which has is also samples of original authors collected together, also with pictures and marginal notes in the Orberg style, the wonderful Orberg style, helping us to understand the somewhat more natural conversation of the Romans from themselves, which is fantastic. Another one, very famous, Caesar's Gallic Wars, always in the Orberg style with marginal notes and pictures, and makes these books very friendly. It makes them very easy to read. Also something notable, all the long vowels are marked, which I think should be the standard of all printed Latin anyway, but that is certainly very helpful for a student. Once one has read some or all of the second part, Roma Eterna, other supplements are available to the student. For example, the Arsamatoria, the poems of Ovid from his Arsamatoria, which is just fantastic. As you might know from my other video, which I will link somewhere around here, I am a big fan of Ovid and the Aeneid, but not Solutis Versibus with all the original meter and poetry, but with pictures and notes. So if we've read the prose version that is given to us in Roma Eterna, then we can read this, understand all the context, and then appreciate the poetry somewhat better. You may have heard of Catiline, and Cicero has famous speeches against Catiline, and they're here, along with history about Catiline, who tried to take over the Republic. He was a would-be tyrant of a sort, written by Sallust, Sallustius, and as always, pictures and marginal notes. Fantastic. And then a very famous one, the Cena Primalchionis. This is a lengthy scene or a collection of chapters from the famous Satyricon, as it's known, which is effectively an ancient Roman novel by Petronius. And it's also very entertaining, interesting, and gives some insight into what they were like, what the Romans were like, especially some stranger Romans, and always with the pictures and marginal notes. Just outstanding, the Urbetic style. So now that I've given my wholehearted recommendation for this series of books, which to me is the best series of books ever created to learn any language that I've ever seen, and in particular for Latin, where can you get them? Well, I put the links to Amazon for each one of the books I've talked about today in the description, so you can get them. And these support directly the Orberg uh, family. Uh, Hans Orberg, the author himself and the editor of these books, he passed away sadly in 2010, uh, but he survived by his family. So that's whom you're supporting by, by getting them. And also these uh, distributors. So you can go directly to these regional distributors. There is Vivarium Novum, I'm saying it with like English, Vivarium Novum or We Wario you Know with a more classical accent, which is in Italy. And then there's Focus or Hackett Publishing 
and that's in the North American branch. There's Cultura Clásica, I believe that's the Iberian Peninsula, uh, Disco, and New South Books as well. Those are all the distributors I'm aware of, and I'll put the links to them if you want to go through them as well in the description of this video. As you might have guessed by the fact that I have a YouTube channel entirely in Latin, <laughs> I believe in learning Latin, and I believe in learning it in a way that's enjoyable. And when it comes to books, there is no better method, in my opinion, than lingua latina per se illustrata. So hope you pick up at least Pars Prima, check it out and see if you like it. Uh, you might like it as a teacher, you might also like it as a student. Again, I taught myself with that book. It is possible to use that book alone. I have many colleagues and friends who have done that, are doing it right now, and you might also. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I'm Luke, and I really appreciate your attention.